Hey, what's up guys, and welcome back to another episode of Chemical Guys Detail Garage. Today in the shop, we're back with the Porsche 911T that Henry has been working on all week. I have also been working on it with him as well, and it has been a roller coaster of emotions and detailing fun, but the outside looks great. Now it's time to address the inside. So today we're gonna to be showing you guys some quick tips, techniques to revitalize your interior. And make sure to stay tuned to the end of this video because we have something new and exciting to debut to you guys. All right guys, so before we get into any detailing, there's a couple things that we kind of want to list off and keep in mind when it comes to this old interior for this Porsche. Now, a couple things to keep in mind is you don't know the condition of a lot of the surfaces that are on the inside. So what I mean by that is, you know, over time, if the car's been parked in the sun, those harsh UV rays could start cracking the plastics or just leave them very brittle to the point where once you start cleaning it or maybe you start putting some heavy pressure onto like the dashboard and stuff, it can start cracking it. So keeping that in mind, we wanna approach the interior with caution and with non-aggressive cleaners. So one of the products that we're gonna be utilizing today is gonna to be our Total Interior Cleaner and Protectant. So instead of me using a more harsh interior cleaner to get rid of heavy dirt and grime, we're not really gonna need all that because the interior is not too bad of in a shape. If you guys take a look closely, you'll see that the interior is mostly just dusty, maybe has some body oils here and there. The fabric floor mats and the seats are not too bad of in a shape, but they are kind of dusty and dirty, so we will address those. But first, we're gonna be using our Total Interior Cleaner Protectant. So Total Interior is great because you can apply it on virtually all interior surfaces, including things like your dashboard, door panels, leather, fabric, even glass, and navigation screens as well. So as you can imagine, I mean, this car doesn't have a navigation screen, but it's gonna work on virtually all interior surfaces that we're talking about right now. So Total Interior is gonna work great for removing a lot of the light dust, dirt, debris, and body oils from the surfaces without it being too aggressive. And the thing I love about this product is that it leaves a full OEM finish. So it's not gonna add any kind of shine whatsoever. It's just gonna leave it that nice factory matte look. And it's extremely easy to use as opposed to having to use a cleaner that requires a brush. This product only requires a microfiber towel. So you can spray directly onto the surface or directly onto your microfiber towel, start wiping everything down and you're all good to go. So as you guys can see right now, I'm just quickly and gently wiping down all the interior surfaces like the dashboard, the gauge clusters, the steering wheel, and just making sure that I'm not applying any kind of heavy pressure. I'm just letting the weight of my hand just nicely and gradually glide over the surface and I'm not going back and forth and causing any kind of vigorous motions to achieve a deeper clean. If you do need a deeper clean, then you can go with something like nonsense all purpose cleaner. But in this case, total interior is gonna work out great because it's a gentle cleaner and it's gonna allow us to just safely wipe down all of our interior surface from all this kind of light dust and debris that's lingering around. So I mentioned to you guys that Total Interior delivers a full OEM finish, and that's great because this Porsche is already basically there. It doesn't have any shine whatsoever, and we kind of want to maintain that. But at the same time, we'll also want to make sure that the interior is protected. And what better way to do that than to layer all of our interior surfaces with a dressing like Natural Shine. Natural Shine is a water-based dressing that works on vinyl, rubber, and plastic interior surface, whether it be on the inside or the outside of your vehicle. So you can use it on things like your dashboards, door panels, exterior surfaces like trim and tires as well. And the great thing about Natural Shine is on the name. It provides a full Natural Shine look. So it gives it just a very light sheen, nothing too crazy, just gives it that nice new look. And last but not least, it also has UV blockers, which are gonna help prevent a lot of those harsh UV rays from penetrating your vehicle's cabin and damaging all your things like your dashboards, door panels, and stuff like that. It's gonna help prevent it from drying, cracking, fading, and discoloration in the long run. And it's extremely easy to use. As you guys can see, it's a cream formula, so all you need to apply it is a soft microfiber or foam applicator. Apply a couple drops onto your microfiber applicator and then simply start working it onto the surface. Now, one pro tip for you guys, if you do happen to over apply it and it does look a little shiny on you, don't worry. Grab a dry microfiber towel and just simply quickly wipe it down to remove any kind of excess sitting on the surface. That'll tone down the shine and give you a nice, fully dry to the touch finish. Next on the list is vacuuming. Now, the reason why I saved to do the vacuum towards more of the middle end-ish of this video is simply because as you're cleaning your interior, like your dashboards and your door panels, you're constantly knocking stuff down like dirt, dust, debris, and in some cases, you know, even food crumbs. So if you're the kind of person that vacuums your interior first because that's kind of what you think is the correct way of doing it, 
kind of think of it this way. You vacuum your carpets, you do all that cleaning, you knock a lot of all that crumbs, dirt, and debris back onto your carpets and seats, and then you're gonna have to vacuum it all over again. So in this case, we're going to do the vacuum right now, as now we are done cleaning the higher surfaces and we don't have to reverse and go back there. And then a perfect segue, after you finish vacuuming all your carpets and upholstery, this would be the perfect time to clean your carpets and floor mats. As you guys can see, this Porsche has these beautiful floor mats, which they're not looking their brightest simply because they have a nice little layer of dust and dirt that's embedded in them. So in order for us to really deep clean these and just give them a nice revitalization, we're gonna be using our Fabric Clean Upholstery Shampoo. Now, there is a couple ways of using this product. You can dilute up to a 20 to one ratio for general purpose cleaning or an eight to one ratio for more heavy duty cleaning. In this case, I'm gonna dilute it to a 20 to one ratio, which I already have done so right here in my 32 ounce secondary dilution spray bottle. And for a quick revitalizing clean, instead of you having to spray it down, scrub it down with the brush, and then you know, use a professional shop extractor and all that and whatnot, we're just gonna go ahead and keep this simple. We're gonna grab fabric clean, spray directly onto our floor mat, grab a soft microfiber towel, and then gently just wipe down the surface of the floor mats to pick up any kind of light dust and debris, as the cleaner does an incredible job at exfoliating dirt and grime from deep within to the surface for an easy clean. And one of the great things about Fabric Clean is that it contains citrus, which is gonna work out great for eliminating any kind of odor causing bacteria, especially on your floor mats. So, you know, if you have dirty floor mats and you have a funky smell coming from them, this is gonna work out perfectly to get rid of that stench. Next on the list is the leather. Now, one great thing about our total interior, which we used first at the beginning of the video on the entire interior, is that we also use it on the leather seats, well, the leather part of these seats, as they are a two-tone, they are leather and fabric material. And now we're gonna go ahead and condition the leather with our leather conditioner. Now, the reason I'm conditioning the leather is because it's old leather. It's been sitting for 30 years. We don't know exactly what's going on with it. All we know is that it's hard, Thankfully, it's not, you know, crack or anything like that, but it definitely does need some revitalization and some rejuvenation. So that's why we're going to be using our leather conditioner, which contains all the essential oils and minerals in order for this leather to thrive. So we're going to apply a nice little coat using one of our soft microfiber applicators. We're going to apply a couple drops. I like to apply anywhere from three to four drops. Work that in, and then if you do need more, feel free to apply more to your applicator as necessary. And then once you're done applying it to your leather, same concept as the natural shine. If you happen to go overboard and you, you know, it's a little bit more shiny than what you want, or maybe there's too much sitting on the surface, grab yourself a dry microfiber towel, quickly give it a wipe down to ensure that it dries to the touch finish and to ensure that your leather looks as good as new. All right, guys, now that we're all done detailing the interior, all that there's left to do is to leave a nice, refreshing interior scent. And what better way to do that than with our all new products? We actually have five new air fresheners for you guys. We have a three pack of these hanging air fresheners that come in some of the scents that you guys already know and love, such as our Cherry Blast. We also have our Black Frost. And last but not least, we also have Pina Colada. Now for something like this, I'm gonna be going with something classy such as our Black Frost air freshener. Now, one of the great things about these air fresheners is that they come sealed. So you can use these whenever you'd like. So the other two that I'm gonna not use, I'm gonna go ahead and store them in my glove box for the time being. And we can go ahead and use those at a later date. And these air fresheners are extremely easy to use. They come sealed already. So all you have to do is simply slit them open and they already have a pre-made slit right on top. Go ahead and cut that down. And then you can go ahead and simply pull it out. So all we have to do right now is simply hang it off of our windshield wiper control stock like so. And just like that, you're all done applying your all new Chemical Guys Black Frost Hanging Air Freshener. And and now you can enjoy it anytime, anywhere, not only on your ride, but you can also use it on things like your office, your home, your garage, your bathroom, and so much more. And the fun doesn't have to stop there because we have some even more new products, such as our Chemical Guys Vent Air Freshener Clips. Now these we have exclusively in two scents, one of them being our Black Frost, which we also have in the Hanging Air Freshener, and an all new, entirely fresh new scent, which is our Forbidden Paradise Tropical Scent. These vent clips are extremely easy to use. All you have to do is simply remove them from the packaging, pull back on the aluminum sleeve to reveal that nice refreshing scent, and then insert the vent blade into the back and simply insert it into any kind of desired vents, such as in your vehicle, fans at home, or anything like that, and enjoy the nice, crisp, refreshing scent all day long. All right, guys, and just like that, we're all done detailing the interior of this Porsche 911T. 
So just a quick little recap of what we did on today's video. As you guys saw, the interior, it wasn't too bad of in a shape. I wouldn't say it was super dirty at all. I would say that this interior needed more of a revitalizing clean as opposed to more of a deep clean. So that's why we use products like Total Interior because we wanted to make sure that we were gentle with all the interior surfaces. So we use that to clean like the dashboard, the door panels, the steering wheels, the gauge clusters, and even the leather as well. Following that, we applied natural shine to all the interior vinyl, rubber, and plastic surfaces just to ensure that the interior stays looking fresh, original looking, and last but not least, protected from the harsh UV rays to prevent drying, cracking, fading, and discoloration. We vacuumed the entire interior very quickly and easily, and then from there, we moved on to our fabric clean carpet or upholstery shampoo, just to quickly revitalize the, the carpets and the fabrics, get rid of that loose, light dust and debris on the surface of the carpets, and as I mentioned before, Fabric Clean does have that nice citrus-based cleaning power, which not only gives you a deep clean, but it also revitalizes all those carpets and upholsteries and gets rid of any kind of foul and old odors. And not to forget the leather, since we did clean it with our Total Interior Clean Air Protectant, it does have a cleaner aspect to it, it does have a protective aspect to it, but we wanted to make sure that the leather thrives for years on end. So that's why we topped it off with the leather conditioner, which contains all the essential oils and minerals for this leather to look great for 50 more years. And last but not least, we topped off the interior detail with that last little cherry on top, which as you guys know, is an air freshener. You cannot do a full interior detail without topping it off with an air freshener. And what better way to do that than with their all new Chemical Guys vent clips and hanging air fresheners. Today, we opted with going with the Black Frost air freshener, but as I mentioned, you guys, we still have that Cherry Blast and Pina Colada. So whenever we're feeling like a tropical day, we can go ahead and slap those on and enjoy a ride down PCH. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give us a huge like. If you guys are excited about these air fresheners, comment down below which one of these you're picking up. And if you guys do want to pick them up, well, you can pick them up on our website, chemicalguys.com or at your local detail garage. And if you haven't done so already, make sure that you subscribe so that you don't miss out on our future videos and whenever we have all new product drops like today. My name is Joey. This is Chemical Guys Detail Garage. I'll see you next time.